Dan Moskal here, and we're talking about tips for writing your book and building your legacy. Because really, a book is a way to give and contribute. This is a way to leave a footprint in the world. This is a way to leave a memory in the world. Because the fact is, and I don't say this to scare you by any means, but I had a brain aneurysm burst when I was a little kid and, you know, subsequent brain surgery and after the surgery I couldn't walk, I couldn't talk, I couldn't read, couldn't write. Uh, I was being read Dr. Seuss when I was 12 years old. You know, there's more to it, but <laughs> things change on the drop of a dime when we least expect it. So God forbid if things change tomorrow for you, this would be one thing that could last forever, you know. It it's kind of, I don't mean to fear you or anything, but it's almost like a last will and testament. Like, hey, this is what I've studied in my life. If something were to happen to me, let me at least leave these words, leave this wisdom, leave this contribution to make things a little bit better. And one of the things I did, and I believe it was really pretty strong and probably the most with the first book, was, hey, you know, this isn't perfect, but if something happened to me tomorrow, I'd rather this be published and at least out there for one of the most important little people, you know, my sweet three-year-old little nephew. Uh, it's important that he at least get this stuff. Uh, maybe nobody else will get it but him, but I'd still rather him get it than not get it. And it just, you have to do it. Because one of the things I believe every Donald Trump, all successful entrepreneurs, in America, Warren Buffett, you really build your own legacy. You build your memories. The reason Andrew Carnegie and Carnegie Hall exists is because they chose to live on that way. Your book is a great way for you to live on as long with some philanthropic or philanthropic uh, ventures, but please get your book done and get it out there because even if it's not perfect it can still help somebody it's still a contribution it's still a way to make things better no i mean books are what are where we learn really everything books and actually doing it but don't forget that you actually have to do it you know learning is both listening and doing you learn a lot from experience from doing just look at how much people learn from well some people learn from love and some of the wrong experiences you learn quite a few lessons pretty quickly don't you uh so writing your book just do it you got to do it don't worry you'll get better and it's good enough and you know i hate to knock on wood but God forbid something happened to you. That's the way it happens. Nobody expects this stuff to happen to them. So please take advantage of today. You never know when you're going to run out of them. And uh, there's only one created like it. Plus, when you do what you say you're going to do, your self-confidence will skyrocket. From the little things to the big things. When you keep your commitments... You feel better about yourself. You're getting better from yourself. You're becoming the best you can become. So please take advantage of these days. Check out the next. Uh, this is part of the bonus video series for my eighth book, How to Write a Book, The System. Available at Amazon, iTunes, Barnes & Noble, and in audiobook. Please like this video. Please subscribe and join our congregation. Please have a fantastic afternoon. Please keep working on building that memory, building that legacy, and having a footprint in the world. Because unfortunately, not everybody does. Please be one that does. Please have a fantastic day. 